Hi, I'm Elizabeth O'Brien from the Lead Group and a family in Sydney has kindly offered to allow us to sample from their home to demonstrate to you um, the types of samples that can be collected using the Lead Group's do-it-yourself sampling lead test laboratory analysis kit. The first sample that I've asked the residents about is where does their child play? So we're going to take soil samples. We've got the chain of custody which comes out of um, the email and we've printed it out so that we can see the sample numbers for this particular kit. We've got the instruction sheet which comes from the box and we know that it requires us to fill in the type of sample on this chain of custody. We're going to type all this later and email it back to the lead group but for the moment while we're out in the field we're writing by hand. So the sample location is just off back deck and this is the place where the child mostly plays and all we need to do is to collect a small amount of soil in this sample bottle so we'll do that now. You can see his um, spade is here demonstrating this is where he plays. We just grab some soil like this and I use a little paint flake so I'll make sure I also grab that. Great. Put the um, lid back on. And I'm off to wash my hands before the next sample, which will be of these pots in the garden soil. Soil and the sample number. That, that goes on the bottle. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> so the um, soil source here is play soil. And the next soil we're going to take is from vegetable pot plants. Near play soil. So we've got a description. The next sample bottle needs another um, label. I'll manage to move the label. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> Great. So, so I have And aiming to get any evident paint flakes. Great. Okay, off to wash the hands again. We will be bringing the kit inside for the other things. Um, we need the tape for our next sample, which will be a floor dust wipe and the scissors and the measuring tape as well. So. The next sample will be paint flakes from a, an obvious potential source that this child may pick up uh, just by playing out here. So we're going to take these off the cane chair. We need enough paint to you call approximately a 50 cent piece. So again, we sample, we write the uh, number on the sample bottle. Right, and label it. And then we're ready. Yeah, it's 
much as we can using a sharp scraper. Older layers of paint are the ones to most be keen to pick up because they're more likely to be leaded but um, actually all of the paint layers here look pretty old so and have a of leaving shoes at the door so I will also leave mine at the door. The next sample will be old paint from the old part of the house. It's more than a century old. It will be a paint sample because this paint is flaking onto the floor. So we'll clean our collecting item and we'll collect the paint from the floor as well as from the wall. The, um, again, the, any paint that's clearly on the original surface is better uh, rather than just the new paint on the top. So, and there's a, a very clever technique used in the United States where a problem like this can be temporarily immediately dealt with by simply getting sticky tape and sticking it onto this paint to remove anything that's loose enough to come away with that method so that you don't have a problem. So I've got some very much older paint from underneath the new paint layers there. So that should be a sufficient sample. Thanks. Thank you. 